Hey Virgo, this is Moon Pie Tarot, getting ready to do your next 10 days love reading. This will be for Virgo Sun, Moon Rising, or Venus. Some of the messages may or not, may not resonate. Just take the fifth, leave the rest. If you would like to get a personal reading from me, there's a link in the description box below. Just click on that link and you can see the services that, that I offer. Um, you can also follow me on Instagram at Moon Pie Tarot. And please do hit the like, share, subscribe button if you enjoy this video and would like to be up alerted when I upload new videos, which is usually one or two each day. Okay, so Virgo, um, this reading will be for from the time you click on the video, 10 days going forward. So we've already got your cards here. Um, we're going to take a look at the person that you are here for this reading about and then take a look at you. But right now, I'm going to get the overall energy for the next 10 days to see what could be playing out here for you in your love life, past, present, future. Um, yeah. Okay. Energy, please, for the overall energy for Virgo's love life. What does Virgo need to know? Past, present, future. Okay. So the Five of Cups and the Hangman. Okay. A um, little bit of sadness here, Virgo. A little bit of melancholy. A little bit of, hmm, not sure how to get out of this. Trying to find a way out of this grief or this regret or remorse or loss or sadness. Um, now that could just, this just feels like the energy that's swirling around you and this person does not necessarily have to be just you. It doesn't have to necessarily be just them. It's just the overall of something that you should know. And it seems like, <laughs> I feel like it's kind of temporary for you. Look, he's looking at those three cups that are spilled, not seeing that there is something here. There's two cups right behind waiting to happen. It's all a matter of changing your point of view. Okay. When feeling trapped in a situation that you physically cannot get out of, like this hand hanged man, he's pretty much tied to, to this post and he, he just cannot get away from this. He can't get out of this. Um, so physically it's kind of trapped, but mentally it's all in the mind. It's all in the mind. Um, now, for you, Virgo, it feels like it's changing your thinking. It's it's for you to start to look or to start seeing and, and your person or, you know, if there's anybody just for you to start seeing the glass half full rather than it's always empty or, or, or just the glass or, or even having this. OK, well, the glass is half full. Yeah, but eventually it's going to be empty. We know glasses can be replenished. Right. And I feel like this is kind of a wake up call for someone here. I feel like somebody is in a situation here they cannot really get out of right now, but they are trying to find a way to make it better. There's a sense of loss, grief, remorse, sadness. Let's see what else. That's Piscean energy as well, Virgo. So some of you could be connecting with the Pisces. Okay. Queen of Swords. Okay. This is um, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. And then the world. Okay. Somebody's definitely walking away from an air sign. That's for sure. Okay. Somebody's letting go of an air sign. Saying it's in the past. Starting 2021 on a lighter foot, right? Stepping into 2021 in a victory mindset. And it could be you, could be your, your person. It's also about gaining clarity, right? And I feel like, I do feel like the queen of swords can represent you Virgo. Okay. Could be somebody on the cusp of Virgo Libra, but the queen of swords she can have a mercury thing about her. She does. Virgo and Libra can have similarities. Um, they're just different. Um, but I feel like for you, this is like starting over, gaining clar clarity, strategizing, and trying to figure out, um, you know, how to turn the page. 
how to create a new chapter in your life, especially especially if something has ended or you're in a sense a place of sadness and grief about something. Okay. Um, whether that is what's really happening or it's perceived, um, I see you just leaving it behind and, and starting over. I mean, you could still be involved with someone, but it's like leaving behind that mindset is what I feel more. If you have a tendency to get sad or feel a bit depressed once in a while, it's getting yourself out of that much quicker for some of you. Now, let's take a look at your person. So obviously, I've already got your cards pulled here. Um, and I do that only because when I start my, my reading, before I pull the cards, um, the glare on, I don't know, because I, I maybe because I turn this around or the lighting, the glare is it's blinding and it looks awful. And I'm a perfectionist. I'm a Virgo. I like things to look nice. So I start off now with the cards already pulled. Your person. Okay. Now, for some of you, this sadness and this grief might be your person. And the reason I say that is because there's, this person has abandonment issues or they have a fear of being abandoned um, or being left out in the cold. They're definitely feeling hopeless. They, they're, they're feeling very alone right now and very needy in a lot of ways. Okay. And so in relation to this overall energy, I feel like your person is definitely trying to come out of that sense of feeling hopeless and gaining clarity and coming to the truth, clarity in the mind of like assessing what's really going on here. Am I really trapped? Am I really sad? Is Or is this just something that's overtaking me and trying to make sense of this so that they can start 2021 or just have this this start start a new chapter in their life whether it's you know with you and it's a relationship reading and it's love and I do feel like this does have something to do with you um this person really does need you um I feel like that's you in the green you kind of lead the way this person is usually um look he's got a peg leg I mean you're like okay with that <laughs> This person goes on these journeys and they come back to you and they need you to like help them or you're like the light candle light in the window there. Are, they see you. Um, this can be a very codependent kind of relationship, but they see you as being someone who um, I don't know, can show them the way is how I feel. They might they might be having a financial struggle or they're destitute or they're looking to you to help them out financially going forward. Um, I really feel, because it's all pentacle energy. This person's got you on their mind a lot. The two of pentacles here, this person is really just trying to figure out how to get, how to get back to being stable. Um, they really struggle. They're struggling with that. The five represents conflict. Five represents unmanageability. And the five reduces down to the two. And I feel like they're kind of like, how do I get back to square one? This is where they are. How do I get back to square one with Virgo? Okay. Because this is a two. This is about partnership. This is about stabilizing. This is about making a decision or having weighing options and trying to figure out how to be less dependent and less needy and have you guys be equals in this connection. Stabilizing. Wow. Are you kidding? Definitely a twin flame connection. The lovers is here. I feel like they wanted you to know that uh, you two are meant to be together. This is a love to last a lifetime. And this is um, a very blessed union. This is also communication and making decisions and talking about coming into union with each other. I don't even know where to put this. Where where should I? Oh, they want right here. Um, there's marriage, commitment, union, sacred union coming in 2021 for sure. Sometime around June, I feel like there's going to be 
some type of communication between you and your person in regard to this. You may communicate prior to that, but there will be communication in regard to making something official or coming together. Um, so you could be dealing with an earth sign, another earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Um, for those of you who need to know, let me just tell you, Pisces, Air, so Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, um, we have Scorpio, we have Fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I think I got it all. Well, except for Cancer. Cancer could be here. Don't don't negate that. Um, very well could be here. And um, but again, it's mostly energetic. So you know the story should resonate for you the way it resonates. But this person they're definitely trying to get back in a place of abundance here and stabilize. I don't know if there's a financial thing going on with them or not. Perhaps maybe trying to make a job change or move or trying to balance quote unquote, the checkbook. Do people do that anymore? Reconcile their books, that kind of thing. Um, but this is also the five of pentacles can be a card of like a struggle love. So they do feel there's a struggle between you. There is some kind of a struggle. And I feel like they feel that they're the one that caused the struggle because they lean too heavily on you sometimes or that they leave you out in the cold and therefore it leaves them out in the cold. There's a lot of abandonment stuff going on here. And I feel like this person is really just trying to be more abundant and be a better provider for you or figuring out how to do that. Okay. They are definitely, and if this is, again, in my readings, the Five of Swords, again, with another conflict card. Um, this is my Three of Swords in action. This is the person that takes the Three Swords and causes the argument, causes the strife, um, takes what they feel they deserve, and doesn't care about others. And I feel like it's not so much against you. It feels like this person is trying to figure out prioritize what stays and what goes in their life, what works for them and what doesn't. Okay. So they may have to break a couple of hearts or they may have to cut out people, places and things that aren't serving them. I feel like they view you as, you know, the most sensuous, stable, um, abundant person. And they've got you on their mind constantly here. Almost to the point where, <laughs> and I said to you, there will be communication at some point before June. This person is watching you. They're watching to see um, how you operate. They watch you work. They watch you build, create. They're very curious about how you do the things you do. Um, and, and they're very curious about how to be, how you, uh, uh, I'm hearing about where you've been. They see you being very distracted in a lot of ways. But honestly, look, Ten of Cups is here. So I feel like this person, I don't know, if, if you're not in communication with this person, they really miss you. If you are in communication with them, I don't know. They're still missing you. I don't know what they're missing about you, but they're missing something. And it just, I feel like the communication is going to come about building something together here. The Ten of Cups, family, um, being in love, joyfulness, fulfillment, ultimate fulfillment, being together. So, the next 10 days, there's something coming through. There's some kind of communication from them and you guys talking about how do we, you know, how do we build this together? Um, or at least them bringing some truth and seeking, seeking truth as well. Now you, Virgo, because of this five of 
Pentacles, this abandonment thing, or if they they're out of the picture or not communicating, or they're just whatever they might be doing, that's having a really strong effect on your um, self esteem. It's making you feel mentally trapped, and I feel like for you, that's why it's also having an effect on your emotions. You're feeling avoidant or lost emotionally upset i think for you you are definitely i'm not too worried about this eight of swords because i feel like you will get yourself out of this clarity will come once you let go and you um get out of that headspace that's affecting your emotions um that's when i feel like this energy comes in but for now i feel like you're viewing this relationship as being negative if you notice here um there's eight swords, four on one side, four on the other. That's the 1111. This, this connection was divinely guided. Okay. Um, but for you, you're, you're just not seeing it right now. And I feel like you're not seeing it because, you know, either they left you out in the cold or you guys are in separation and there's just something missing here. Or maybe they were very dependent on you and, and they come back again to be that way and then you're afraid you don't want to look it's like you don't want to see you don't want them i'm not feeling like they're going to leave you out in the cold honestly i feel like the communication is going to come they're going to talk about talk with you about um, making something or talking about wishes and dreams and what makes you both very happy But I feel, I don't know, you, you just have some mental strife or something that might have happened in the past that you're still trying to heal from. Because the Eight of Swords is really like you're in this place where this is self-sabotage. And I feel like you need to be careful. Um, if, if you're viewing for this person to, to be perfect, um, and they're not meeting that image of perfection or what you need, then you will probably some of you, not all of you, but there is a possibility that you could self-sabotage, sabotage this connection because in your mind, you want them to come in as like the four of wands or the eight of wands. But in your mind, you're not seeing that. And that's why I feel like it's going to be okay because you've got like new insight, like awakening happening here. For you okay and you do get your strength and your courage back definitely i feel like your person is just trying to make a decision here they're not sure what they're they're trying to get their sea legs they're 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 trying to figure out where their priorities lie and it feels like you are their priority because this kind of i mean of course they have other priorities but you're up there with them and they're i feel like they have to let go of some things before they can try to make something work here with you. Listen, you have a very physical sexual drive, Virgo, and especially towards this person. You're very passionate about them. Um, there's a physical aspect to this relationship that you're driving towards or has you driving toward them. Maybe that's what you're missing. <laughs> if you are missing or you're not seeing something, that might be something that's left out. In fact, that is missing on their end. There's no wands on their end. There's finances, tangible things, money, communication, and emotions. You don't have much wand energy either, but you do have this one. And if you're going to have any passionate energy, it's going to be the Knight of Wands. So... If that's something that you're missing with this person, I feel like you might even like muster up the courage to travel to see them or connect with them or try to have like some physical intimacy with them in some way, because this is the travel card, this Knight of Wands. So you're in movement and you're definitely wanting that aspect with this. I do see healing though here and I do see revelation and um, opening up. And this is also a card of reconciliation as well. I feel like 
with the five of swords being in their position, the things that they're letting go and possibly communicating with you about what they're cutting away in their life. This person might live near water, but whatever they're cutting out of their life, I feel like them communicating this to you is going to cause you to be more revealing and open with how you feel and your thoughts and expose yourself and your flaws and, and everything. Cause I feel like you, you need, you need to know that, that whatever third external party, person, place, or a thing. Um, just could be work. This person's very work focused or they are very uh, dependent on money or their job. They could put their work in front of your relationship. Um, or they could have something else that they're dependent upon. And you know what your person is highly dependent upon. But whatever it might be, it leaves them um, incapacitated a lot. Where they aren't able to give you what you want or what you need in a relationship. They're more, because of that, dependent upon you. And I don't feel like they want to be that way anymore. I feel like they want to balance that to be less dependent on something, go back to the start to be able to give you what you need. Now you do have the 10 of swords and this, and I feel like this person having this communication with you going forward that they want to build a family or build um, a relationship or have some type of emotional fulfillment, not necessarily full commitment it could be for some marriage. I feel like you'll surrender to that. And uh, accept an apology for some or give an apology. You might, some of you might feel like, you need to apologize for betraying someone. Now, I don't know who that is. That's not all of you, but that might be a message to somebody who may feel like they owe someone an apology. Who knows what might have happened or occurred between you? Nobody really knows, but you. And But this Ten of Swords is also like there's sunshine after the rain. And there's an opportunity to communicate. They're coming in with the Page of Swords, direct, how have you been, what's going on, let's talk, you know, tell you they've been working, but they still are focused on having something with you. And I feel like for you, you're gonna forgive and start up, either start up communication with them or respond to the communication. I just want to get one more card. Actually, you have the major arcanas here. So let's take a look at strength. Because that's courage, bravery. Getting your courage back. What? <laughs> you know what? Actually, they just said to me, don't use these cards now. Put them away clarify with another deck okay that's what we're gonna do all right let's take oh strength oh you're kidding <gasps> what that see okay that's how it works you guys <laughs> here's judgment again england <laughs> you have judgment twice <laughs> all right i'm calling out the uk for some of you, I don't know why, but I'm also calling out healing. Um, look, transformation and change is happening. Okay, these are both Scorpio cards, so I'm just gonna say, why does Virgo always have Scorpio in their reading? And why does Scorpio always have Virgo in their reading? Okay, and the Six of Wands, victory, a praise, applaud, support. Um, this is on your end. This is what you're getting. Because of your strength, 
and your courage that you will be just look at how contrasting these two cards are for you to go from the ace of from the eight of swords which is like depression and low self-esteem self-sabotage stuff to getting your courage back i feel like you're just in like a little you're in a stage you're in a phase thing happening here but then you come out of it and like you make that change and that transformation and you win and so I, and please don't get upset when I tell you, Virgo, that a lot of this is all in your head. And if you know it's not in your head, okay, fine. We'll let, I'm going to let you have that. But something is causing you to feel this way. I mean, I'm going to pull a card. Let's see. What is causing Virgo to have this Eight of Swords? Perhaps there was some discord in the past or... There's remorse and regret and loss. There's, there's, I mean, for sometimes there isn't anything that causes it. Sometimes we just all go through those periods where we feel melancholy or sad about something, or it's, it goes a lot deeper than we intend for it to go. This is the eight is trying to prevent that nine of swords coming. And I see you kind of like, Get yourself in a position where you don't have all, oh, you don't have that nine of swords, but instead, look, the stress is that you feel single and you don't want to be single. You're so good with where you are. You're stable, right? And your person sees that about you. I mean, I don't know. Maybe you're, you're getting more money in your bank account or your job's going well. All these other things are going on for you here, but you're, you know, the Nine of Pentacles, even though he or she is doing well, they're doing it very well, but by themselves. And I feel like that's what's causing this self-esteem or feeling like you're not worthy. If somebody's not really coming through for you, or you don't feel like they will come through for you, but they are coming through for you. All right. Let's get some hidden truth oracle messages for you. Let's see what your love messages are here. What are Virgo's love messages? Oh, I feel you leaving me behind. Ooh, this person, they feel like you're leaving them. Leaving them out in the cold. They're very lonely. You're both lonely. You are both lonely people right now without each other. You know. You both know that you're meant to be together. But look at you both. This person's lonely without you they feel left out in the cold and they're trying to like follow your lead and you're following no one's lead you're just like well I, you know at least i have my job so there's, but it's still affecting you but from their point of view actually it's both of you you both feel like you're leaving each other behind or that there's no something happening here. And I'm not seeing that all at all, especially on your side. It seems like you really want to reconcile and be a part of this person's life. And, and they, again, they have some kind of dependence on something that they're trying to work out in order to have this connection with you. It's two different reasons. The timing just wasn't right for us. Yeah, Virgo, that's a lot to do with it. I know, I'm tired of hearing that, but it's true. Let's see what else. I want to feel that way again. See, they miss you. They want to feel happy again, and so do you. There, there was a time when you were both together where it felt good. <laughs> for you, it's very physical. The Knight of Wands. Um, and for them, it's about they felt very complete with you. And they want that feeling back again. Oh, my stomach is growling. I'm hungry. Wow. I'm so attracted to you, Virgo. This person is like super attracted to you. So many things remind me of you. Virgo, they have not forgotten about you at all. And everything they look at reminds them of you. Could be the way you look, the way you talk, the things you were interested in, the things you say. If they talk to other people, it's just, 
whatever, everything, everything reminds, whatever you guys share together, when you're not together, it's just so many things. They can't get you off their mind. It's time for me to heal now. Okay, it's definitely a message for both of you needing to get into that healing energy. We both know I am not the one for you. <laughs> you both believe that. You do. You both do not feel. Virgo, you don't feel that you're the one for this person, and they don't feel that they're the one for you. Because you're both in this. But that's changing. That's coming to an end, especially this week. You both have a hard time communicating. And mostly on your side, Virgo, you have a hard time revealing yourself, exposing yourself, revealing all your imperfections, because it's not that you think you're perfect. It's just that you don't think you're perfect. And you, you can't accept that, <laughs> that you're not perfect. Or you can, you say it to yourself, but to reveal it, hey, look, I got a little extra flab on my hips. Or I can be um, an overthinker, or I worry too much, or, you know, like, but I feel like both of you are in that place where you both are concerned so much with what the other person thinks. Finances, financial challenges are affecting this connection. I kind of felt like that in the beginning of the reading, and especially from their end. They are financially struggling a little bit, and they're trying to get that stabilized leap of faith. It's safe to make the move you're considering. Okay, I don't know who that message is for, but somebody here, one of you Virgos here is considering making some kind of move, whether that's leaving or, or reaching out, I don't know, but your message is that it's safe to take that leap of faith. Trust, it is safe to trust in this situation. Awakening, someone is undergoing a spiritual transformation. Is it you? Is it them? Is it both of you? Something is definitely happening here because it's like, can't stay in this dark energy for long. Distance will bring clarity. All right, so if you guys are separated right now, mentally, physically, emotionally, whichever, clarity is coming. And it's, it's definitely coming to them. Oh, wow. Your soulmate loves, accepts, and respects you unconditionally. Well, Virgo, there's a very strong message here for you. It's about unconditional love on both ends. Giving it or receiving it. Self-care. Clear your energy field and focus on yourself before acting. Okay. I'm not sure who needs to hear that one, but there's something there about... I'm hearing they're saying part of your self-care is finding things to be grateful for right now within your life. Making a gratitude list is what I'm hearing. Get a pen, get a paper, I don't care. Do it on your computer. Write down all of the things that you have to be grateful for. I'm grateful for my warm blanket on a cold night. I'm grateful for creamer in my coffee. I'm grateful for that little bit of money that I have. I'm grateful for, you know, make those lists and start finding things to be, that will lift you. That will lift your spirits and bring back your courage and your strength. Because honestly, Virgo, I'll keep it real with you. And I can because I am a Virgo myself. Your self-sabotaging thoughts put you in a poor me situation. I know. Listen, today we don't have unicorns and Skittles. Today we have truth. And snap out of it. <laughs> All right, let's get a couple of cards from the Moonology deck. Believe me, I tell myself that all the time. Snap out of it, Kel. 
a new romantic cycle begins. Beautiful. For those of you who have blue moon and Libra, that's especially for you. But yeah, there's something happening here. It's going to start up again. All right, let's see what else. Okay. Do you want to come apart? Here we go. Don't let your past hold you back, Virgo. Very important message for you. The end of a tough cycle approaches. Look, let go of the past, forgive, let go. Just put it all behind you, right? Boom. Light at the end of the tunnel. The end of a tough cycle approaches moon and Capricorn, moon and Libra. And a new romantic cycle begins. Okay, you guys are in some kind of funk. I mean, listen, you all know the cycles, the, the moon cycles can represent for the females and even for the men, the, the hormonal shifts and changes in life. This is coming to an end, um, even if it's just monthly. I do feel like for some of you that is having an effect on you. It's just intensifying things more, your cycle. Um, let's get a couple of cards. What other messages does Virgo need to know from the Psychic Oracle deck? Okay. They want choose wisely. Okay. Very important. That's a message for someone. You know, um, somebody may is making a decision about commitment and is choosing very wisely this decision. That could be you. That could be them. But if it's you, it's something that you need to like pick and choose your battles and also um, don't keep your head in the clouds. Um, choose if you have a lot of options or paths for both of you, either one, you're being advised to choose the appropriate one, the path. Don't be fooled by temptations or um, things that are not real. Oh, Virgo, love begins. This is the Ace of Cups, so it's coming. I just feel like you just have to have faith. You just have to keep, I know some of you are like, well, I'm tired of having faith. Well, it's all God's timing. You know that, right? You just have to stay in faith about it. Okay. Stand your ground. There you go. This feels like stand in your faith. Don't give up. Don't give up on this. Don't give up on love, Virgo, whether it's with someone in particular or just in general in your life. Light and universe. Okay. Focus on the light. Be the light. Universe represents God. This is also, you guys, the world. Be a light to the world and also 2021 will shine new light on all things happening in your life and on this relationship. New light being sh shown. And then they also want this card here. What's going on? Ha! <laughs> What did I just say? The waiting game. I know. I know. The sense of time. It's tough. The waiting game, isn't it? That's the two of wands. That's waiting, 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 waiting. Having to make a decision. It's like sitting in the waiting room and the doctors want you to be in a particular time and then they make you wait in the waiting room for an hour long. That's the true test of patience for you. Um, and you're a Virgo and you are the most patient of all the signs. But now you're being asked to be a bit more patient. All right, let's get a couple of messages from Loving Words from Jesus to see what these messages are here for you. Peace be unto you as my father has sent me, John 20, 21. So you just be at peace, Virgo. Trust, have faith. Fear not, for it is your father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. Don't worry, it's coming for you. Luke 12, 32. For those of you who like to read scripture, what else? Oh, they gave you two more. Jesus says, nothing shall be impossible unto you. Just believe, Matthew 17, 20. I will not leave you comfortless. I will come to you. You're not alone here, Virgo. All right, let's get a couple of messages. Um, 
charms to see what the charm messages are for you. And this is my most, oh, I forgot a couple of um, Chinese fortune. The charms are my most favorite part of the reading. But let's get a couple of Chinese fortune cookie health. An excellent time to start an exercise program or diet. Many new friendships are on the horizon. So while you're waiting, formulate your diet plan. Figure out your exercise plan. If you haven't already started that, start it. And if you have, tweak it. You have to tweak it. Also, you're eating, tweak it more or start tweaking it. Um, and you do have more. You might meet some new friends um, through some kind of exercise program. Okay, difficult times. Be on your guard against chaos as unforeseen perils or emotional upheaval are foretold. Yes, we definitely feel like that's happening. However, on the flip side, I see you getting out of that very quickly. Okay, um, but this doesn't have to be these next 10 days. Um, I'm not sure what's going on there. It could be work, um, just some difficult times. You know what it is? It's something to do with what's happening in the world. Um, it may, I don't feel like it's fully over yet. Um, so that might be making things very difficult at this time. Um, but we're not going to stay in this forever. Oh, and then you have opportunities. Ooh, a stranger is about to change your life. Exciting times and plenty of action, plus a special family reunion looks likely. Nice. Okay. Charm time. I'll pull one charm. See what the message is for you. Now maybe I'll pull. Okay, they want three. Oh, what the heck is that? Oh, a lemon. Somebody's got, somebody likes lemons. Drink some lemonade. A lemon meringue pie. Yellow. Something, something to do with a lemon. Okay. The situation may feel a little sour right now. Um, but, you know, you can always add sugar to a, a sour lemon to make it taste a little bit better. And we also have the salamander or toad um, amphibian creature here. Um, actually, <laughs> that's that's definitely for you. Look at all those salamanders. Um this is the Aries card. Those salamanders represent that. So if you're dealing with an Aries, this Aries will be definitely making an appearance in your life going forward these next 10 days. And, or if you're not, expect to be communicating with an Aries at some point. Now you also have, ooh, an eagle. Okay. Well, that resonates for me because I'm a Philadelphia Eagles fan. But um, something to do here with an eagle. It could also be Scorpio because Scorpio is not just the scorpion. It's the Scorpio, the snake, and the eagle, the three different levels of Scorpio. And that's much deeper in astrology or zodiac signs, but you can look that up if you're dealing with a Scorpio. Um, so this basically means... <laughs> Keep praying. That's what I'm hearing on a more spiritual level. Keep praying because the eagle will pray on its on what it needs, on what it wants, and then goes in for the catch. I don't know. I'm football referencing things here. Please forgive me for that. We're American football. But um, hmm. I also feel like when it, the card had love begins with this, um, this lemon, um, this situation is ripe. And things are going to begin to change very soon. And at least 2021, things will resolve from 2020 for you and your love life and the person that you're crazy about. There is, I know we said soulmate. You guys might be in a soulmate situation that's karmic right now, working out the kinks, but you guys are twin flames. You're meant to be. All right, Virgo, that was your message. I hope you enjoyed that. I will speak to you very soon. Take care.